Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today we're putting this small little Chuntu Sa Amazon brush to the test. This is a foundation brush. Look at how stubby and tiny this is. But yeah, it's a buffing brush. It's like a stippling brush that you can use for cream products. So yeah, if you want to see if I like this brush or not, keep watching. Okay, so today we're going to be trying out this foundation brush from Amazon and as you can see, it is really small. It's exactly like it appears on the website. This is it. Let's try this out. And I have to say that I am going to give this brush a very, very good chance, the best chance that it has at succeeding because I know when we're just starting out with makeup and everything is so expensive, it becomes really, really difficult to buy everything at once. So it's always nice to have a tool which is only 100 rupees and I didn't pay any shipping for this. It was free shipping, maybe because I have a Prime membership. But yeah, this is a little brush and let's see how it goes. So I won't be using any other brushes for my complexion. And uh, as you guys know, my fingers are always my best bet. So I'm starting off with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And this is in the shade C10. I've already spoken about this product. As you guys know, I really like it. And I do use my fingers for this part anyway. So yeah, if you haven't seen the video where I cover my base makeup, it'll be up here somewhere. Next, I'm gonna take my Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. This is in F14 and honestly, since I'm not allowed to use any other brushes, this is the one step that is worrying me the most. Alright, so I have my concealer and my contour down. The last thing for me to do is go in with the foundation. And for foundation, as usual, I'm going to use my pack in 3.1. And I'm going to take this little brush and then what we're going to do is since I don't want to go in with the contour color and then the foundation color I think what I'm going to do is I'll just blend in my contour last since it's the darkest color on my face so I have my color on my hand right there I'm just going to go in to the other areas where I haven't got any cream on my face and concealer is starting to crease no surprise there anyway I'll just get that at the end what do I think? yeah it's doing the job it's not pokey or scratchy I was a little worried that it will be a little scratchy but it isn't, it's fine that being said am I gonna go under my eyes with this brush? no because I don't do that with any brushes. Over the eyes, not a problem. I'm not having an issue. And now I'm going to go and start blending out the contour. Maybe I should have blended out the concealer on my nose, but what's done is done. We are generally used to beauty blenders, right? But beauty blenders soak up a lot of products. So I think with a brush like this, you don't need as much product. Instantly, I'm feeling like, yeah, there's too much product on my face. And I like to keep my layers really thin. So in retrospect, yeah, that was my bad. I love the Makeup Revolution Contour Stick because it is so easy to blend even if you go overboard with your product which I have it's still blended into nothing it looks so nice it is so easily blendable I love it okay let's talk about the brush now I like the brush it's nice and soft it's only a hundred bucks 
there's nothing wrong with it it's a little small but yeah that's what makes it really nice and cute okay i like the brush it does not absorb too much product it's done a very good job i don't have any complaints all of it is blended and married together so yeah i really like this brush and it did a very good job i was a little concerned about using my contour and my highlight and my foundation with the same brush but as you can see it's given me such a nice seamless blend it's it's done such a good job that i think that this brush is such a winner it is such a winner and it has found a rightful place in my vanity in my makeup vanity this is something that i will use i really like it a hundred bucks yeah this is a good brush all right so yeah you can see what the brush did i like the results i think the creams have gone down on my face really nicely so i guess the only thing left for me to do is complete my entire face and be back with my final thoughts Okay, so I'm back with the full face of makeup and of course for my powders, I went in with a powder brush, I went in with a blush brush and I went in with a contour brush. But yeah, for my creams, I only use the brush in question. Maybe for my next video, what I could do is do like a full face with like a beauty blender. Maybe that's coming up next. I use these three brushes for my powders, but for my creams, I only use this brush and nothing else. Okay, so let me give you my final thoughts on this brush. Even though this brush is inexpensive, it is not cheap feeling. It was not pokey while I applied foundation and the other creams on my face. Of course, I did not use it under my eyes, so that is a consideration. Although I never use brushes under my eyes, so keep that in mind. Additionally, this brush is 99 rupees and no shipping, which means that you get one foundation brush for 99 rupees and you're not paying anything extra, right? If you're a beginner and you struggle with tools, right? And every brush is 700 and 800 rupees and you know, you just want some inexpensive tools in your armor, then I feel like this is a really, really nice brush. So yeah, let me know if you guys want more videos where I talk about these other Amazon finds because trust me, I have so many Amazon brushes. It is crazy. And each one has found a valid place in my armor. So yeah, let me know if that interests you and yeah, I'll make more videos. All right, so that was it. That was the video. I tried this cheap brush from Amazon and I was very, very pleasantly surprised. If you guys gained some value from this video, then don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. My Instagram handle is Curly Girl Michelle. If you want to see more from me, you can follow me there. And that was it. That was the video. Bye guys. I'll see you in the next one.